Finally, good news about Maverick Aoko. Guys, we thank God because we guys to require to make tents. But let me tell you, uh, Hayuko Sawa, because Amepatikana na Mari Amepatikana, Amepatikana kwa uh, border ya Kenya na Tanzania. Na inasemekana kwa ama the report from the doctor amepatikana kwa hospitali and the report from the doctor alipelekwa pare na awel wishes alipatikana kwa gate akiwa hari mahututi. <coughs> so guys that is the news that we have in now and guys for the first time yani I have felt you know something good. Heli hivyo Heli tu wamwonyeshe hivyo or maybe wajaribu kumsilent but wasimfanyie kitu mbaya wasimuue cause guys uh, siku hizi yani tumekuwa na that fear at mtu tu akipotea tu hivi anapatikana kama ameuriwa but guys do you think uh, it was a reason eh? do you think it was a reason mambo ya ku uh, kushinda kuongea mambo kwa media mambo yenye haieleweki guys semi uh, maverick aliongea mambo haieleweki <coughs> but ukiangalia the last tweet the last tweet yenye aliongea about uh, Farouk Kibet um si ati hako anajua kitu alikuwa anasema alijua but i think pia yeye anaenda too far yeah kama <coughs> uh, it's about the corruption and whatever i think anafa address mambo ya corruption uh, peke yake lakini sasa mambo ya familia za watu i don't think it's fair kushinda kuingilia sijui oo oh, akona wanawake wawili o oh, sijui uh, anachukuanga wanawake huko nje nini yani vitu kama hizo i don't think it's you know it's fair uh, kuingilia mambo ya familia cuz hata kama umeweka family yako private wewe ndio unajua unaona you know why you have kept your family private yeah so guys oh my god guys nime feel too nime fry uh, just remember that um <coughs> size i think it's almost 8 days 8 days hizo siku zote hatu kutoka kama tume hear from maverick aoko and just imagine kama hizo siku zote wale watu wamekuwa na yeye i don't know what she have gone through i hope one day one time uh, atakuja kuongea aseme what really happened uh, guys uh, mnakumbuka kuna this video yenye ilikuwa ina um, imeenda viral uh, na watu wengi wakasema that was maverick aoko being abducted in nairobi na maybe watu wenye mnashindwa hii story ilienda aje uh, maverick aoko kuna time alikuwa ameshikwa uh, na kutoka hiyo time uh, alikuwa ameshikwa na alishikwa juu pia ya ku tweet uh, yani kuongelelea mambo ya siasa uh, the president uhuru kinyata mnakumbuka kuna time alisema kuwa uhuru uh, uh, akomgojwa ako ICU ako na kansa you know ku tweet mambo kama kama yare unaona uh, sometimes ana tweet about Rachel Ruto na pia yani ni mambo yenye ya udani sana mambo yenye watu wengi hata hawajui wana yani ana tweet kitu kila mtu anashangaa uh, you are right huyu anatoa wapi mambo and um, oh my god guys i'm happy at least ame, ameonekana <laughs> but i don't know maybe ile kitu yenye amefanywa amefanywa nini because guys 8 days kutoka ile time alikuwa abducted from Nairobi uh, ndio nilikuwa nawaambia alikuwa amekuja Nairobi alitoka up country ushago kwa akakuja Nairobi alikuwa na meeting na venye alikuja Nairobi hapo tu ndio uh, wale watu i think wakaona eh hey, kumbe umejireta tu mpaka huku waka uh, akachukuliwa pale na maybe you never know maybe ile time alienda nyumbani let me tell you mambo ya serikali nayo inakuwa ngaingine maybe alikuwa ameonywa ame, ame amepewa onyo akaambiwa sasa kutoka hapa ni moja kwa moja mpaka wapi mpaka nyumbani ukirudi tena Nairobi uh, tutakufanyia kitu mbaya so i think maybe venye tu alikuja wale watu waka search simu yake na wakajua kuwa yuko Nairobi you know na yeye yeah, mwenyewe tu ndio anaweza sema kitu yenye ili happen and uh, najua si kitu nzuri cuz unasikia alipatikana kwa boda ya Tanzania na Kenya hmm? kama ako hari mahututi yani hako anajijua hako hata anajisikia after being treated ndio at least aliweza kuongea na akasema ametoka wapi and guys i'm happy for her and for her family and for Kenyans in general cuz guys tulikuwa tumesitoka tukasema eh hey, kila mtu tu akitoroka tu aki, uh, kila mtu tu akikuwa abducted anakufa tu hivyo guys mnakumbuka uh, about the Wells Fargo uh, HR uh, mnakumbuka about MCE wa Wajir and uh, watu wengi sana wamekuwa abducted of late 
na wakaenda tu hivyo guys eh? so at least kuona Maverick amerudi hata kama amerudi kama hayuko sawa it's, it's something to say thank you to god and uh, guys i think pia we got a lesson ha huh? squeeze guys acha ni tushughulike mtu tu ashughulike na mali mtu ajaribu tu ku build cuz hata tukiangalia hawa watu watakuwa tu it's their chance it's their time hmm? <laughs> kitu yenye nasemanga hakuna mwenye ata stop kifo hmm? ile time tu kifo itakuja hivi hakuna mtu ata stop hmm? but cuz wao ndio wako hapo acha ni tuache hata kama ni kuibia nchi acha ni waibe cuz tu ruachagua Ha? Si mnaona venye kachagua ameenda. Kachagua ameenda tu hivyo. Yaani kama mchezo. Mm? And now guys we have a new deputy president. Imagine. Yidhure kidiki. Yaani sasa tunasema ni yidhure kidiki. Eh? Yaani kachagua ameenda tu hivyo kama mchezo. Yaani wewe una wewe mbona una hii ni kama mchezo ni kama drama? Hai hata uelewi ni nini. Na inakuja na inakuwa. Mm? Now it have come to pass. Sasa mambo ya kachagua alikuwa deputy it's history yake imeisha and now we as as kama wa Kenya we are moving on cuz guys kusema tikachagua uh, ametolewa pale it's not the end of the life hata uh, wao wataendelea na maisha yao eh? na mimi hata akiwa pale hakuna kitu hata mimi kama ni mkenya hakuna kitu alikuwa ananisaidia nayo na mimi hata gidhuri hakuna kitu atanisaidia nayo hmm? ni mimi mariniko ni jibud eh? tax zikiongezewa na ripa nitaripa tu kama mkenya wa kawaida eh? na najua kila hata wako hata wako kina kidhuri kidiki pia wao wataripa tax eh? si ati wa taripa sasa hizi kila kila mkenya isipokuwa wao wale watu wenye wako kwa serikali kubwa semi mambo ya walimu si semi ma, si semi mambo ya, ya madaktari hapana wao wao tunateseka na wao huko chini hmm? wale ma MCA ma governor MPs au ma senator au tu ndio hawana struggle ama ndio hawana stress hii Kenya lakini hao watu wengine wa kawaida uh, stress inagonga watu light left and center kwa hivyo tax lazima tuziripe you know no matter what no matter what let's love our country uh, acheni to si gawanyishwe na ukabila let's always appreciate what god have given us cause uhai mimi nasemanga kama uko hai you know you can do a lot you can change your world achana sasa na hii achana na hii Kenya hmm? you can just change your own world na uki change your own world uh, ada utawahi kuja kufikiria ati oh who is the president in guys kuna mtu saa hizi anahesabu mamilioni yake hata sasa hizi ukimuuliza mambo ya president atakwambia you know i know he's there i don't care aibe ama siibe i don't care he's, you know what we in good position mahari hmm? lakini sisi wenye hatuna kitu ndio tunakaa hapa chini tu tunaria sasa hizi kuna mtu mwenye sasa hizi anasema hii government ya ruto yani it will be the best hmm? lakini kuna mwenye ako pale anasema it's the worst so we just pray your part omba Mungu akusaidie hawa wana siasa Mm, kama atajenga barabara ya kwa, kwenu were in good kama hata jenga we jaribu yu, ye, chini kama utajenga ka barabara ka kwako ujijenge fanya mambo ya kwako eh hey, maisha yako iendelee lakini kusema ati tunaenda ati kufaita juu ya nini ukabira sio unataka huu unataka huu i don't care guys ni mimi mambo ya siasa ili nichosha mm? nilichoka because that is kenya so um, nilikuwa kwa maverick aoko nikakuja kama nimepita uh-huh nilikuwa nasema nini guys mambo ingine si mambo ya kushinda ikistress mtu sasa hizi imagine maverick aoko you never know what she have gone through in that eight days unafikiria ni nini imemhapenia ha huh? unafikiria hiyo eight days amepata nini ndio apatikane kama ako un- unconscious hmm? she have gone through a lot maybe hajawahi kula from the day yenye uh, alichukuliwa maybe hajawahi kula alipatikana akiwa hali mahutu na maybe watu hata walikuwa wamefikiria amekufa Hamunge wai kuja kusikia mambo ya Maverick au Kofena. Hmm? Well, anyway guys. Mungu akuwe pamoja nasi. Guys na wapenda sana. See you in the next video. Kindly share my video, like and comment and na wapenda. Bye bye.